Yes. Yeah, you, you don't, don't get, get the levels. Okay. Yeah, the thing is, the hero doesn't farm at all. Yeah. So the, that's the concern I have. I, I really don't know how it ends up playing out for Quaswick's Invoker in the side lane because you usually rely on that early Ooh. bit of levels and start. Matumba man in a lot of trouble. Obviously, we know this is a 1v2 lane, and yeah, yeah, that'll be an easy one. You do see bottom lane, like the Radiant's getting zoned out, but the problem is we've seen Centaurs. Spider Army, it's a coming. Or fed to magical there. He's gonna start cutting creeps. He's just gonna play the efficiency yeah. game. His goal is not to shut down Zai right now. It's to get his item as soon as possible and then run at him. Oh, Ilias in trouble. We'll go down. Inkswell goes up though. They're gonna look for Yapsor. It's just nice Chris slides, but he'll be able to get it. Yeah, and he loves it. He's like, alright, I get level three now. Free solo experience. I, I was clicking on him. When wow. he has more, we'll look again, but yeah, it's 39%. What? I'm looking this up right now. He's looking right there on the screen. Up, oh, Ilias goes down. I that's on me. It. That's on me. I, I, that's on, you know, tell the observer to look at something. And they do. Never listen to me. You should know that, though. Surprised if Tusker and Voker look to rotate. I guess this is a core invoker in the off lane. He is higher level than the Ricky. Well, Magical needs to be careful. As you said, hasted and as there are, but I love Magical abusing the cliff and the, the webs. He's looking at yeah, He really is. I was like, I will find you. The haste has about 10 seconds left. And there it is. Gonna be the roar. Does he get him? Axes are stacking up one more. He throws him. Only one of the axes actually hits. Wouldn't have been a kill either way, but. Take some time to recover. And I know that Ricky can participate in the game before defusal, but with the start he's had, that is going to be a bit doubtful. As Zai paying the price for utilizing that roar in your jungle yeah. like he did. Oof. And this is the exact fear I have. This is the pace of the game that Navi needs is what really solidified that for them. And the implications of it are massive. And Misha looking for the Shadow Demon. Shadow Demon wants to put him under, but the tag team and the cold snap. No, he will save himself for now. Crystallize is here. Only level five. They need to be careful. Slayer should go down, and he does. Crystallize. Tricks of the trade. Down low. Zai just now shows up, but Roar still down for 15. Rotation from Navi and a counter rotation from Zai. Who are they looking for here? I guess they wanted... Oh. He didn't like Slayer very much, because I think he could have gotten Ilias. Well, Dodge is be a kill. Spin, it's just still will be a yeah. kill. Four oh my heroes God. here. Jiminy Jillikers. They do not like him all well the said, creeps sir, well do. Said. <laughs> it's mostly about enabling the ricky is why he's doing this for anyone watching him how to learn offlane it's like ricky can't lane here he knows that his job is to take the dangerous farm on the map with this good of a start on nine pasha right now that's bottom notice how many heroes are coming oh old days gonna oh. come down it's for middle lane they're gonna try to run the side. he will get slowed up like you said but the roar comes on chad but tell me gonna throw out that level one stun does he get a crit to finish him off no gets put under shadow poison gets popped the boar attacking but man runs away and looks like slayer's gonna oh. be no oh, he gets chunked down by zai there good axes well played and bottom, bottom lane, lane. Yeah, this line's actually TP'd here, surprisingly. Gotta be careful, the Crimson Guard has already been popped, but that'll happen. That might have cost them a kill. Oh, and a smoke, smoke up, up from Seagrave. Yeah, we got three heroes plus those creeps with tag The team. Hawk sees him. He's dead. Ooh, magical. Oh, the center stop actually hits it, but it won't matter. They get the roar. They get the snowball. Penitence goes down. It's a five-man rotation. You have the to do this. Very worth. Trying to run away. Tornado, they're like, we gotta clean out some of these. Half of the map, Secret getting a trade, but not necessarily the one you love. But at the same time, I don't really see a better option for them. It's really hard for them to ever contest this because they first have to get that it's happening. And for them to have any information here, they would have had to go through a Broodmother to get there. And that's actually just not happening. So they look like they want to contest, but it is going to be a bit late as that is pretty fast with the medallion. Plus the backstab from the Ricky almost has his defusal. BKB coming soon for Magical. And uh curious part of the of the di uh, for Radiant that is on the dire top half of the map. Yep. And now smoke as we see from the Ricky as well as the Grim Stroke. We still haven't seen too many blink strike plus ink swell combos yet, and this might we be the have first a dire one. ward that sees Magical. the brood mother, yes. Oh, but Zai, he should be going down here. That's gonna be a hot spot spot, but there's gonna be the ink swell, there's gonna be the smoke screen. This will be a kill. Level 14, by the way, on that Beastmaster. That's a so, huge kill. Yeah, that's a nice one for him. They needed that. Yeah. Here, maybe Nisha a little bit scared, obviously, if they are still around, but. I'm sure they have some sort of clue what's going on and here. Farming here safely should give an indication to Yapsor and Matumbo Man, but they may still catch him off guard. They have Centaur Stampede, but you see, this is such a good map awareness from Secret. Notice how long they stayed to farm. In their head, they have this idea of how long, if they were to have smoked on Navi, yeah. it would take them to walk there. Like that's that's like the advanced level of map awareness that you can really. Uh, hone in for yourself if you pay attention to this and 
Uh, Magical pushing in the mid lane. Secret maybe looking to jump it. Oh, they see the Ricky yeah. underneath the sentry. They're going for him. Snowball for him. Oh, he did get the country start there. off. Do we have anything to save? There's the smoke train. It is going to be a double slot coming. He's still alive and he will blink strike away. Alias is the first one to go down, actually. Yeah, the trying to run. yeah, the BKB by Magical and Pasha. They're just trying to run away. And this looks like a secret one fight. Pasha, the next one to go down. He is worth a decent amount. Slayer, do we have a stun? No way. He got out there while well. these items. And that's what Secret has done. Itemizing purely armor against the Centaur, who actually right clicks really hard. The Broodmother, as well as the Ricky, almost purely defusal or uh, physical damage as they look to get the backline supports. I like this targeting. Oh, creeps up. There's gonna be a stun. The first one to go. Oh Kevin my here. God. Dead instantly. Pasha, you're oh so my big. God. Hey, <laughs> boy, you're, he, he was dead mid punch. Oh, holy crap. I, that's the that's tusk insane for amount. That's tusk plus solar crest, right? That punch, even without too many items. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is almost just a Rax, right? That might even just be game in a matter oh, of seconds. Oh, they're going to buy back. All right. Yeah, okay, the buybacks do force oh. them to retreat. They got to do something. You buy back, you'll want to get something done. But the problem is the Tornado, and they are leaving together. But there's going to be the BKB pop by Chris Lies. They want to bring another chip. But you see, he's even solar because he has 30 armor on the chest. They try to roll in. Pops is doing a lot of damage. It is big damage from the Shadow Demon. Is it going to be enough? Zai should be the first one to go down. He does. And Magical starting to right click pretty hard. Yeah, Sword dies as well. Puppy going to go down. And this is exactly what they need. Smoke screen down. Will they be able to get Nisha? It's going to be bound here and stolen by Posh right there as well. Nisha just trying to right click. There's going to be the dust pop. He's trying to run. Gets a tornado off. He's alive for now, but not for much longer. He's moving. They get no the way. Dust on him. No way he lives here right oh, there. The long the range disruption. Holy crap. The ether lens plus the cast range Ooh, tower. He's moving. What? Oh my goodness. Did you, they double TP. And they're like, nah, you are not getting away. Double TP cancel, but. And Matumba Man got away that. in the meantime. That's the crazy part to me. Tough man's pinged out. I wonder if he'll take the spider attack damage or the attack speed. He's almost level 20. What would you take, or what do you think he should take? Do you I, get the spider damage, or do you want to scale more late gaming? He's taking spiderlings, the spawn spiderlings damage in CDR, so I assume he's going to take the attack damage on the spiders. And bottom lane, by the way, there's a tier 3 tower gone. Is it, well, not yet. Wait up. Now it's gone. And there's going to be the roar. Who's going to go into Brood Mother? They just run forward. That's going to be an easy kill. That's a buyback, by the way. There's going to be the double punching in the double edge. Double, double edge. Oh. There's so much hits, but the big heal from Puppy is in oh. enough, though. Not for Yapsor as he dies. Zai getting chased down by all these spiderlings. Crystallized BK beat up. And Matumba Man, he hasn't even used his ult yet. Trying to right click Pasha. And instead, they want to turn to Crystallize. He tricks the trade out. Looks like Seeker will be able to get out, but that Roche is, is a up. buyback. And will they just run Nisha? As Nisha's like, see ya, Roshan. Certainly had such an impact for the rough start he had. Oh, and there's, are they possibly going to magical? They're looking. He'll buy back again. Gotta be careful. Zai also maybe wants that extra 600 gold to get that AC. Oh, they're going to ambush this bottom Rex. They have Solar Crest. Look at this. Gotcha. Surprise. And look, they're all top. They're like, wait, what the hell? They're pinging it right now. They do get the glyph off of Matumba. He's got the Aegis. He's got the level 3 ulti. Pretty much four lives if he doesn't get bursted right away. Okay, they kill the creeps. Will he just continue to smack it? It's smoke tree. Light a lot one of one of five. Damage. Yeah, but maybe. There's going to be a snowball. Are they moving forward now? Moving to the creeps. The Raxes will survive for now. Backdoor protection procs. Well, as items. So we do have an initiation possibly on the bottom lane. But Tum Man taking some big damage here. Might die to his Rips. own illusion. Uh, but the snowball to save Rax one life. down. It is. They're going for the melee, but that is going to be the repair kit used. Slowly healing it up as axes, tornadoes fly. Alacrity on the catapult. It's doing work. That and the solar chunking. crest. That boy is working. That's the real carry. It actually is. Look, look at how buffy is. 50 damage, 30 armor on the catapult. They're trying to kill it. They just can't. They're going to jump on the back side. Wait, magical. Will he be okay? It's a nice save for Millie. A ton of damage being done. Come and please bring down the touch, but he gets healed up. But no man just right clicking. It will be a roar on the BKB brood mother. Do they have enough physical damage to bring him down? No. He doesn't have his ulti, though, so he is going to have to run away. Spider. Punch onto Crystallizer. Now Crystallizer in the back side. He will blink strike forward. Tricks of the trade. Tornado won't end up hitting him. The axes almost bring him down, but not quite yet. Instead, it will be Pasha. <laughs> they are. They can't do anything. The repair oh kit God. not going to do anything. Thing. And as you said, they're all for life except for Yapzor, and he's like, well, I got a spear vessel, I'm fine. I think that's the impact of Chen that is 
the only t this we is really the, yeah, this is the palpable effect of Chen where you use all of your spells, you actually you nuke them win. all down to like half, and if they don't die. What's the base go, by the way? They only uh, lost one hero, but they're gonna lose six Raxes. Just like that. I don't even you can't just, you can't just defend. Game, man. Yeah. It is GG called by Crystal and just like that, I don't blame him. It literally is just GG there. I, wow, a well played game by Navi in the, the first 1 to 25 minutes, but we keep going to it, BSJ. The efficiency of secret. Ball camp with the range creep. Oh, he messes up actually. Oh, no, mm. and it will spawn, but. Okay, okay, okay. Zai moves there. Yeah, I was wondering, I was like, you double, you want the creeps under your tower, but it makes sense with the pulling, obviously, and, you know, makes it pretty tough for Crystallize to try to just last hit and Zai. He will get Spirit Curry. Siphon. Oh, it's just gonna go down. No. Medusa's meant to scale really well this game and just kind of defend the towers early, I think is what Medusa's supposed to do. We talked about with heroes like Bristleback, kind of just serving as a barrier in front of towers, and that's what Medusa does well, also. I just and double rage go, creep deny. He might just go down. Here. Yeah. That's the fish host. Wow. Lugu comes in, as you said, Yabzor. He just stuns, gets the kill. All of a sudden, you're like, uh oh. Don't know how you punished Timbersaw plus Earthshaker. As we see Earthshaker roaming again to the mid lane. He is blocking up Matama Man with the trees. This is so annoying. You need to buy some face boots, Matama Man. Well, I, I might die spread. as well to the Nature's Prophet ulti if it hits him. They're just going to take him down, possibly even without that. He's shockrimming. He has so much armor. 18 stacks, okay. but they bring him down. They needed that one. In middle, Yapsor gets brought down, just run down by the magical. And this boy's micro with those trains has been pretty damn good so far. Possibly can. Yeah. Navi, they just back out. One goes to top, one goes to bottom. And that does mean it has been the Monkey King farming. Okay, bottom. It's actually very even. They're pretty much exactly the same gold. But Nisha's courier will go down. There's going to be an ink Will they go in? Oh, this is a roll back. Nice play there by the root. But as you said, misses a spear. Magical TP's in. Having that global print. This should be a kill on Nisha. Unless he has some sort of crazy heal dodge. Maybe not. Or he just run in. Stun works too. That it indeed does. Plus all the summons there. So what looked like an easy kill for one side. I thought they were just going to get the Rubik. But a nice play by him. And then a missed spear. And then... Nature's Prophet, he will just have to run back middle, and all of a sudden, your tower just took almost 50% life. Holy and smokes. Top tower also. We're seeing the oh. Earthshaker Fissure block off Crystallize. Oh, Zy does miss the chain, but... Level 1 chain is... is it's pretty underwhelming. Feels bad, yeah. Yeah, the speed is the most notable thing. Yeah. It's really hard to hit anybody that's moving with it. As, oh, I think that was supposed to fog the tower. I think that yeah. was what he was going for. Same, but Atuma Man will pick it up. Bottom out post. Gold. Yeah, Pasha, Ilias, and Slayer down here. Puffy is level 6, but he didn't go for his ulti, by the way. Too many heroes to address as Nisha narrowly escapes from what is other, uh, the arena. He could have he tried to predict that. The arena does destroy trees now. So we may see that come into play at some point when it comes to catching the Monkey King, but they want this outpost back. The cookie stun doesn't hit too. He just stops them up. If they both take it, they'll still get it. No, they just want to go for the kill. The yeah. outpost will be lost, but you get the kill, oh, and oh, it's both bird. owned by Dyer, yeah. Uh, Nature's Prod snipes here. Curry, you're like, well, where's the ward at? Was it when it was flying early? Was it when it was flying late? Kind of hard to know, but they will go in the middle, and they pump the trains as there well as the ghosts. Very natural progression of events for Na'Vi. They want to defend this, though. Yeah, sort He's in with Tumman level 11. He is pretty oh, far. Five shaker though. Yeah, no ulti quiet. There's gonna be the mark. The spear is gonna miss though. Pasha. I think they might just be back up. Maybe not. But Tumman's actually doing so much yeah, damage just from charges. Alias. In comes Zai though. He's running him down. Will that be a solo kill and snapfire? No, gets the stun. And now it is Zai versus the world. But it seems like Zai right beating the world. Is he Atlas himself? The three man stun <laughs> coming out from him. Oh, yeah, so they get the kill. Jesus. Now crystallizes in trouble. He's just getting right click down. And Zai, don't do it to him. Is he even gonna? I know! Oh my, oh, oh, oh no, no. <laughs> and then he just falls off of a magical, he's getting over the TP, there's no way, right? Is there a way? There is! He makes it! And he's just gonna keep walking and building. See how he was just a barrier for Team Secret. Yeah. As oh, Nisha utilizes bad. that ultimate, Blade oh. doesn't affect his summons. It doesn't, but now Nisha is in a little trouble. Oh. Nice spear, lift plus spear, you're hitting that one. So one for one trade. So look at the map, right? You have Medusa farming Ancients, and you have a Grimstroke farming top. Level eight on Puppy. He is pretty damn rich for support. About to over, yes, he just eclipsed the offlaner for Na'Vi. Jesus. And Bubby, I mean, he had, ooh, bottom. I'm just watching Zai. He's taking this tower and the creeps. They just don't do anything unless they bring four to five How heroes. do you get to this Medusa? How do you get there? Like, this Timbersaw 
is effectively a, a mobile wall as the Earthshaker is enabling him so well. But this go may be it. enough. I'm doubtful. Yes, that fire right. ult though. 21 charges. Zai, is he going to pop it? He pops the hood. Not the 21 charges. There they are. He is still alive. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Time lift. Slayer. That's exactly what they have to do. But yep. meanwhile, top, is this going to be a kill on the Crystallize? Oh, this is the price you pay for spending so many heroes bottom. But he has a play mill of his own. And this may actually be a good turn by Navi. Nisha Puppy, will they go down? There's one right click onto him. Nisha, is he going to go down? He can jump to the trees as of now, but he's still just running in there. He will jump. Ooh. And uh, just gives them so much information, just saying, hey, we can sit underneath our towers, we can hide in the trees top. And then once Navi shows, which they have shown mid lane on Crystallize, that gives them all the information they need to continue pushing bottom on side. Oh, ulti, they're gonna get the spear into it. Medusa is gonna take a ton of damage. That's a no fire combo again. Manta is on cooldown, but on the backside, it will be Zai trying to right click him down. The Fisher to block him out. He might have actually blocked Matumba Man out. The Ghost are on top of him, just doing so much damage. Manticore goes down, Slayer goes down. That's it. They're committing so much to the Medusa. But he does finally go down. It's a two for two. Zai misses another Timber Chain. He is gonna just throw out that spear at Siphon. Zai wands up Blade Mail of his own as well. There's the nice spear back spear. into the tree. This should be a kill on him well played by navi three for two team fight there and they're still losing <laughs> in terms of no one. what oh. the hell oh, he tries to break down the trees number one net worth is medusa but the next three are on the side of navi kind of expect it when the team that has all, overall last pick you get the game for medusa but the rest of the heroes are going to suffer because they've been countered monkey king is the, probably deliberating between the bkb and completing his deso does have one Bethel Hammer plus the Blightstone. So I'm pretty sure he'll finish the Deso because he has the BKB coming out on Medusa and that's gonna enable him to not have to go in first. And uh, he can be more of an initiator, a counter initiator and he can dish out the damage rather than having to make sure he's more survivable. He's just gonna be chilling in trees most of the time in these fights anyway. And uh, smoked up Zai as well as Puppy. Will they go for it? They're giving a sign because they onto the oh, oh no, Puppy makes a mistake, but Chris Lund still just getting run at. Oh, fakes out the ulti on Nisha. BKB is popped by the death front. They are locked together so they can't move. No ulti even used by the death front. Quiet. Ilias is just dying after that ulti. He goes down. Posh gets a nice spear on the top of But yeah, they might have to just run away. Crystallize gets frozen. The ghosts are doing a ton of damage. Blade Mill pop, but they're just right clicking this DP down. They can't make it out. And this is looking like an easy cleanup by Pasha trying to bulwark him. So wait, a nice spear actually, but I don't think that's going to be enough. There's the app sort of bonk him. Gets the kill and a three for there. What a, the passive in order to shoot the spears backwards. It's really important when you're running away, by the way. Saves you all that turn time. But meanwhile, and Roche. secret forcing the Roche with the Deso. Crystallis from Medusa. And they are going to bring it down pretty quick. Timber to tank it up, going for the Lotus Orb. Full pipe. And suddenly, they all have net worth. Craig, Craig Coat. Coat. Okay, so he wants the armor. Does against the Medusa with all this right click, it's kind of impossible to avoid the right click, right? So if you're gonna BKB and you're gonna run in, you don't have options to like Yules, you don't have options to go scepter, you just need armor. Oh bottom, they do finally find Puppy, or do they magical TP in? This might have been a bait. Puppy Guardian grieves himself. He's almost full. It's the perfect double sun. Do they have the damage to bring him down? It's gonna be a BKB used by Mental. He wants to at least kill Puppy, and he does. Zai killing Posh on the backside, but he will just run away. Magical oh. Dives through his BKB, yaps or bops him on the head. Ilias TPs out, makes it. It's a one for one trade, but it's your middle for a support. The support did buy back. Okay, so if Medusa walks down the mid lane with a double damage on, then that's not as potent as surprising them with the Monkey King having one. Because he smoked as well. They did smoke up with this double damage, so we might be in for surprise. There's going to be the other repair kit. It's a spear back, but Nisha jumps in with the double damage. There's the Absorb. Sure. He gets a double, but they are able to get Holy the BKBs off. Will Crystallize survive? He's got his. Go Sabatoma and just right click him, and they are stuck together. Posh goes up, Crystallize getting chased. And it's so just a sick. one for zero, but what a chain combo there. And they just go down to bottom. They're like, well, there's no repair kit here, so we'll just go hit this. Nisha, we'll hit the tower, so that Deso even helps the tower, pushing so much more. And look at Zai just standing there. Slayer does end up getting the steal on that. Looks a little bit goofy, but they're not even attacking right now. Okay, the 
That was so sick. The Monkey King Boundless Strike into the Earthshaker Fissure, into the, the Monkey King Ult, yeah. into the Echo Slam. Dude, they, they just had no sh chance there at all. That was a nice oh. timed combo. They bring down a full set of racks. They can go middle. I believe that was the last repair kit used on the rack, so no more of those. Zai, he's like, sure, I'd love to tank those up. Has the plus eight reactive armor stack, so even tankier. The Lotus Orb will lift. Gets lower. Chris flies. Oh, oh a little miss. bit of a mess there from Nietzsche. Yeah, but the spear back. They find Matoma. He is running out of mana, so he doesn't have the most effective HP. Can they burst him out? He mantas, but there's the spear time, and now he's just going to square up. It's the wave. That's the wave. Here's the wave. Here's on the ground, but Pasha goes down. Who actually picked it up? It's Nisha. What? Nisha does. There's a rapier on uh, the freaking floor. Does Magical have it? He does. This boy does damage. Did they just toss it away? Uh, oh my goodness, puppy. He makes it out, but Magical, look at his net worth. You extra 360 health, 48 damage on top of the active, so makes sense. Queuing up the potential Ags after the BKB for Nine Pasha. They did rework it, so it no longer is only during your ultimate that it lowers the cooldown. But instead of the cooldown being 1.4 during your ultimate, it is 3.5 second cooldown in general. So. Oh, top lane. They're going to find Yapsor. This is the okay. first kill in a while. Wow. This is a quick one. Pasha actually does so much damage, even with that little of items. They just blow up the Absor, so that's 60 seconds. Maybe Navi, you want to try to at least get on uh, Radiant DP. You have one on Rubik. Is it the the Mars? Is it the Snapfire? Do, do you want the Snapfire one in this game, or is it not no, very good? It's no, it's point okay. blank, and you don't really have a hero that needs to go in okay. that way. Oh, but we might have the fight. They are smoked up. Magical on the backside. He might be done by himself. Oh my goodness, so he may be able to bring him down. He does have that sense of the BKB. Will he just say Tannigan turn around? No, they're trying to get out of their posture. Medusa, gets done with the glitter gone game. again. Oh, Medusa on the backside, as you say, getting on it. He fucked all his mana. He say Tannigan's up going. There's the A on this truck. Both fights going on at once. They're turning it. Who's winning? It looks uh, like it might be crystallized. Going to take it so chance, but he eats the cheese. He makes it out. They link up together. There's going to be a silence. It's only used onto the timber saw. Bounty rune crystallized. Like, I'll be taking that. 950 experience from those outposts. There's going to be a spear. Yeah, he, done. Yeah, Nisha. he gets lifted up. Will he get thrown back? Oh, yeah. the time was he throws it back. Pasha, the first one to go down. They should bring down Nisha. There's the dunk from Yapsor. It's like a two, but Death probably gets fully healed from the ultimate coming back. And now Magical, he is by himself. Is he going to get run down here? He is Timber Chain. Magical is about to lose his Divine right here. There's the, the silence. silence, and there's his life. Oh, the goes oh down. Magical God, goes down. Is that a double rapier? No, Nisha. Give it to Nisha. Wait, who did they get? Is it just there? Yeah, it's there. It it's is? on the ground. Give it to Nisha. Oh. Totally. That goes on all your monkeys. There it is. Oh, my God. He hits for seven. 700 with Jingo active. What a fight. And that was, it felt well played by both sides. One, Nobby found uh, the Medusa and kind of almost brought her down. But as you said, Satanic split shot modifier. And on the other side, the Crystallize. King too. And oh this is going to be so scary. hard to fight into, man. Sorry, what were you saying? Nothing. You're good. Oh, my God. This game's making me stressed out. I can't even imagine being a part of it. Well, it looks like we're all secret side right now. Would you agree with that? Yeah. But Tumba Man wasn't even able to get his ultimate off there because he utilized all of his mana pool in order to tank. And now all of a sudden, if they're able to walk up this high ground, you have monkeys that are going to be right? sitting there doing 800 damage this or is rough, whatever. Magical doesn't even have that rapier. Has to buy a chrysalis, but... 34 damage compared to 330 is a big difference. There's going to be the ulti thrown. One tier 4 tower about to go down. Zai okay. chasing Slayer. There's going to be the ulti by Pasha. Yeah, Nisha does have that Aegis. They want to bring down even just once the Lotus Source there. Pasha pushes it back with the Havoc Hammer. There's going to be the first life, but Pasha gets Most frozen. The the tier fours. He's dead, and they are the tier 4s just dying. Nisha won't be able to get a boundless strike out. He's throwing out his ulti, but he gets silenced. Now he BKBs. He's going to throw out the ulti finally. It's going to be in a giant AoE. It's looking like it'll be the end. Yapsor makes it out, and look how big it is. It is just going to be the end as Chris Lies trying to defend such a well-played game by both teams, but 31 winner, and it is going to be secret. What a hell of a game, though, BSJ.